Jalen, you guys allowed 16 yards on Tennessee's four third quarter drives. Was that your defense playing about at its absolute best? Yeah, the, we just played to our standard, you know. Uh, they got us in a, a couple of uh, possessions in the first half, and we just had to regroup together. And we put together some good stops in the first half. And then when we got in the locker room, made the adjustments, and then we just made the stand and say, look, we're not going to let this happen. You know, we got to play with the best defense in the country. And that's what we did uh, in the second half and just holding them, you know. Uh, hats off to Tennessee. They're a great football team. And I'm just, uh, I'm just glad we were able to make the adjustments and come out uh, second half and make that statement as, as a defense. Trey? Trey Biddy, I should say. Yeah, Jalen, uh, Coach Pittman said you guys were starting to kind of figure things out a little bit in uh, in the first half on on what they were doing. What what did you guys see that uh, you talked about making the adjustment? What did you guys see that you needed to do adjust? Uh, we had to get off the field on third downs. Uh, I think that one drive they scored, they had 15 plays and uh, went and scored, you know. We just had to get off the field on third downs. And um, I think once we realized that and we made those adjustments on that, uh, we started stopping them, making key stops, and our time possessions went down. Uh, quite a bit. So yeah, uh, it was just a, I, I would say it was just a third down stops we had to make and then just keep running to the ball and hitting and uh, making key tackles and doing our jobs. And I think second half is when we really put the statement on that and a stand on that and uh, it showed. So like I said, I'm just proud of the guys for uh, doing their jobs and straining and uh, coming out with the victory. Trey Schaap. Yeah, well, what was what was he doing early that gave you guys fits? And then how did you guys adjust to that? Uh, we just had to stop the run. I think they were just finding the holes uh, and the cutback lanes to get through. So we just had to uh, regain a line of scrimmage and hats off to the D-line for making that adjustment and doing that. And uh, in the back end, we just had to uh, keep doing our jobs in the back end and not get bored with what we were trying to do, you know. Uh, I know they were trying to pass this game and take shots, and they didn't take as many because we were just locking stuff down the back, make sure that we let anything pass us uh, deep. So, uh, hats off to the DBs for doing that. But I would just say, to, uh, just find our, our gaps and just doing our assignments. I think a couple people got out their gaps, and which allowed to have some uh, key runs and third down conversions. But once we figured out that and came together, I think everything just went fluent, and we started seeing, hey, we can do this. We're making stops. Have to stop. Have to stop. Have to stop. Before you know it, we hold them to uh, zero points in the second half. So uh, hats off to those guys for sure. Tara? Nikki? Hey, Jalen, how big and how nice was it to have the offense scoring at the same time that you guys were making these stops and kind of building the momentum together? Oh, uh, it was it was big time. It was huge. You know, uh, offense got off to a slow start in the first half, and uh, but they they didn't have, they weren't panicking because they knew that we had their backs. You know, we gave up a, a field goal and a, a touchdown, and then we told them that that's it. You know, we can't let that happen. So we got them. We had their backs, and that's what gave them confidence. So we knew that they were going to come out with a, a statement uh, the second half, and when they came and scored right away. We knew we knew that it was going to be a different type of game, and then our rhythm started going on both sides. You know, we got key stops, offense starting to get in a rhythm and started going and uh, scored on short uh, short possessions and stuff like that. So, uh, just have, has off to the offense because you know any any uh, situation like that, an offense can get down and start pointing fingers. There was never none of that. It was just hey, defense, we got we got your back and we got theirs. And then when they came out and scored. I just set the tempo for the rest of the game, and we just uh, – defense just fed off of that. So hats off to the offense and uh, for scoring right away and uh, giving us that momentum and that push to keep going and uh, come up with the win. Go ahead, Nikki. Uh, Jalen, when, when they switch in another quarterback, one that you might not have seen so much tape of, like how does that change what you guys do? And um, like, I don't know, how do you guys prepare for that? Uh, we just had to have the same uh, game plan, you know, just uh, play the routes that we uh, we we had to stop the run this game as well for them to pass. We won in the past, so we had to stop the run. So uh, it, the quarterback situation, I don't think it mattered too much. I mean, the starting quarterback definitely was uh, the more experienced guy for sure. And uh, has, I mean, hats off to him. He's a great play, football player. And the backup, I know he's playing a couple games, so. Uh, I would say their, their styles of, uh, was kind of the same. So it wasn't really like, oh, we have to watch this dude because he runs a lot of this guy because he passes more. You know, they're both kind of similar. So I don't think we were really focused on what quarterback came in. We were just 
going to keep doing our assignments and just uh, trust what we see on film and um, translate it to the game. And I think we started seeing that as the game went on. Uh, we started recognizing things, and we just made key stops. Kyle, Deckelbaum, Hayden, Danny West, Scotty. Hey, Jalen, what you, uh, would you say from your defensive line tonight, guys like Julius Coates, Jonathan Marshall, Eric Gregory? I saw people that strained to the very end. Uh, they, they weren't worried about making a play. They were just doing their jobs and letting the game come to them. Uh, I'm, I'm, I wouldn't want any of their D linemen on our uh, field but them because they do their jobs, you know. They might not get 10 tackles, 12 tackles a game, but uh, they definitely should be uh, noticed and, uh, when it's due. Uh, I put credit in where it's due because they come out every day and bust their butt on, in practice and it translates to the game, you know. They just come out and just do their jobs, nothing else but their jobs. And, you know, Jay Marsh especially, I mean, he controls that the line of scrimmage most of the time, and you can just see it, it causes havoc. Running backs have to cut back and do things because he's just such a uh, such a weapon and it's just such a distraction uh, up there. So, um, no, Jay Marsh is doing his thing. Julia Coe's doing her thing. I just can't wait to see what they got in store for the rest of the season. But hats up to them tonight for doing their jobs and just causing havoc on the line of scrimmage. A couple more, first tie. Yeah, Jalen, in the second half, um, at the very end of the ball game in the last play, how important was it for you and, and the defense to just get that stop to end the game without giving up a touchdown in the second half? I think that that drive to us was our statement. You know, anybody in that situation in defense can get lackadaisical, uh, start worrying about what's going to happen after the game, like uh, celebration. We weren't worried about that. We were trying to – Keep the uh, keep our momentum going and get our last stop because we want to make a statement that uh, no matter what situation we're in, just give us a place to stand. And we're going to go play no matter where the time, what the score is, what the time is. We're going to go out and do this. Uh, have the same mindset, and that showed. You know, they were doing dinks here and there, and we wanted to throw in front of us, but we made a, we made a, a decision as a defense that we weren't going to let them score. You know, we weren't going to give up this one, and I'm just proud for us for straining. And, uh, you know, Hudson Clark made a great play on the ball, and I just uh, came down with it to seal the game. So, uh, has to talk to him and has to talk to the whole defense for uh, staying focused and making that last uh, last uh, stop towards the end. Final question, Trey, Biddy? Yeah, Jalen, you had a big hit early in that game, which I think kind of us, were, we're gasping up here because you got, you got dejected in the last one. Uh, I guess you have to have a lot of confidence in yourself and, and just kind of play – like you're going to play no matter what. Uh, but did you also, did you know that you had 10 tackles in the first quarter? And have you ever had a stat like that before? I'm not going to lie. I just be playing. So I don't even know what the stat line be. I just be out there. And, you know, so after the game, I guess I find out, like, oh, hey, you had this and that. But uh, so no, I just be, it's just, uh, I don't I don't really worry about the stats too much. I mean, you know, uh, people tell me here and there, hey, you had this, da, da, da. And, I mean, it's, it's always nice to rec be recognized for that. But, uh, I just want to keep doing what I uh, do to help my team win, whether I have 12 tackles or whether I have just one tackle. I just want to do my job and do what I got to do to help the defense win the game. And uh, I, I just want to portray that. You know, today I made 12 tackles. I guess that's what I had to do to help the defense win. But uh, regardless, the stats really never really mattered to me. It's more about what I am, uh, put myself in the best position for my defense and my team as, as a whole. So, uh, but appreciate you telling me I had 12 tackles. I just, I just now found out. Appreciate you. <laughs> All right, Jalen, appreciate it. Congratulations. And uh, we'll now bring in uh, Bumper Pool.